dun 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 It's sealed pool practice time, and we're going to open six packs of either Magic the Gathering or Flesh and Blood uh, TCG, and we're going to try to make our best uh, deck out of those six packs, and you can go ahead and tell me uh, what kind of mistakes I made or which cards you might have played out of the pool instead. Well, yeah, and we're going to do the last uh, sealed practice I can do out of this uh, Welcome to Wrath box. We've got six packs left in here. So far we've built four uh, or three completely different decks out of these. We've got a Brute Warrior, a Ninja, so maybe this will be our Guardian Pool. Maybe it'll be something totally else, but six packs so uh slightly here we go six. here we go all right generic 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 would be good for ninja or warrior generic i don't get very excited about we have a piece of ninja equipment so that's cool Another one of these Drone of Brutality cards, generic, a Brute card, and a Guardian card. It's our foil. Another Guardian card, it's a Brute card, another Guardian card, Warrior card, a Ninja card, Warrior card, Ninja card, it's our token. Put that off side there. Nothing very exciting in that pack one there. Let's go on to pack two. Nimbleism. Razor. That's generic. Slogism. I haven't seen any of those for a bit. Generic attack. So now we've got some warrior equipment. Warrior rare, ninja rare. And oh our our foil is a guardian rare. The brute card. Another guardian card. Another brute card. Okay, so guardian aura. Warrior attack reaction, basic ninja card, warrior card, it's our token here. Three. So slogism. Unmovable. We'll see if I need it. Nimbleism. Here's a reflex. Should it be going in the other pile? It should, probably should be going in the other pile. Okay, piece of generic equipment. A decent helmet. Headpiece. Snatch, which is a generic. This is Reinar's specialty. It's a. You can search your deck for a card. And then we also have uh, a Bravo specialty that actually looks playable. This one only costs three and pitches for three. So I think this is a playable card. And it's shiny. It looks pretty cool. Let's see this. Big sparkly fireworks. Fruit card. Guardian card. Root card. So warrior card. Ninja card. Warrior card. Ninja card. Got a generic token here. Next pack. Pack four. Okay. 
Pierre Picard. Slogism. Nimbleism. Razor Reflex. So we have a lot of attack reactions. There's another headpiece, although I think our equipment is going to be an issue. No energy potion, that's kind of cool. Might help if we're doing Guardian. That over there. So we have a Guardian defense reaction, that's our rare. And a Guardian, um, or foil, Crush Cartilage, the Guardian card. Crush Confidence. A brute attack card, the Guardian card. Driving Blade, that's a warrior action. Ninja Attack, their warrior card. Ninja card, token. Okay, Act 5. Yellow Demolition Crew, so it's generic. Generic. Nimble Strike, which is kind of cool because we've opened a lot of Nimbleisms now. Not like a huge amount, but a decent amount. Generic Attack. So now we have another piece of Ninja Equipment. Another Drone of Brutality. And then we have a Brute Majestic, which is cool. Oil Nimbleism. That over there. Wrecker Rob, Brute Card. Guardian, another good Brute Card. Another Guardian Card. Uh, Warrior. Action. Ninja attack. Or your attack reaction. A token. Uh, got a full set of tokens now, for sure. Okay. Last pack for this pool. Another unmovable. Generic. Same generic. Another unmovable. I guess we'll be unmovable in this pool. Okay. Well, a brute chess piece. And a barraging beatdown, which is a brute card. And a potion of strength. I haven't ever tried out the potion of strength yet. That's new to me. We have a ninja attack. A brute attack. Guardian attack, brute action, ninja attack, warrior action, ninja attack, oh, that's still a warrior card, and a cracked bobble here that hopefully we don't have to use, but this pool looks like it could be somewhat of a challenge here. I thought it'd be fun if we got one of each class out of the box, but I don't think I could just force Guardian because that'd be interesting. But let's count them up and see which way it's at least leaning. Five, ten. So we have 15 Guardian. We have five, ten. There's 15 Brute, but it's only 14 if you don't count the piece of equipment that we have in there. 5, 10, 14, but then we've got this one piece of equipment, so there's only 13 Warrior cards. None of which I remember being rare, so probably not Warrior. We could at least eliminate that. We have 5, 10, 14 ninja cards, but two of them in our ninja pool are the same arms equipment. So we've got 12 ninja cards and two of the same equipment. So 
Let's just say not ninja and not warrior, I think. And that leaves us between brute and guardian. We have a lot of... Oh, let's see. This brute pool for... I'm not seeing the the fives and the sevens and the other things that are sound really difficult to cast. I don't... not brute. Guardian. So I don't know what else you'd put in a guardian pool. It seems like it could be tried at this point, as long as there's a lot of blues. We do have blues. We have to get these resources from somewhere. We've also got two uh, potions. Well, let's look at our... do a rare count. One rare, one special, two rares. I think we've had some more exciting pools. We look at our brute, we've got a rare, majestic, special, that's our, our tutor card, another rare, so it could be a brute pool, too. And all we have are two headpieces. And I know in the brute we at least have a chest piece. You can put the potions in either, that would be fine. Neither of these uh, heroes is going to use um, a bladed weapon. So let's see, we've got red nimbleisms. Oops, nimble strike over there. One of each color of slogism. Nimble strike. Nimble strike. Razor reflex is probably out. This would be a pool that I'd appreciate pummel in, but we didn't open any pummels. We've, uh, we have four Razor Reflex. I know I could always try to hit really hard with uh, the Guardian pool. I think we get rid of these Razor Reflexes. So those are out. Well, I can use the Nimbleisms in the Guardian Pool. There's nothing on the Nimbleisms that say I can't use them. It just gives me a plus one and a go again. And maybe a go again would be really helpful in this case. Oh, things that are greater than six. We've got two, three, still haven't looked up what I can do with that Drone of Brutality. So we only have four generics that have uh, greater than six on them. So that's going to make it a little harder to activate Reinar's uh, Intimidate ability if I put those in there. I guess we still don't know what Bravo does. Maybe that's something I should find out. Thought I had a token of him. There he is. Oh, two um, resources. So they are the red dots. Till end of turn, your attack action cards with cost three or ga greater gain dominate. So if I can manage to play some, and I think I can with this pool. This is the first pile of guardian cards I've actually thought that maybe I could be able to pitch enough to play a few of these. Because those are four, three, two, two, three, three, two, four, three, two, three, five. That's pretty high. It attacks for eight. Four, two, and four. I don't know. Looks challenging. So 
whole pool, I think, looks challenging. I don't know. I don't think I'd know what to do here. I'm going to build a deck out of it. I'm going to play it against the others that I've built. I don't know how I'm going to do that because I'm just one person. So that's going to be a whole new kind of challenge. Could always put in some of these scour the battlescapes. That would let me redraw a card. They cost zero. That one does. I think there's two of them. There's another one. They're not amazing or anything. I don't think this would be a flock of the feather walkers deck. I don't think we have enough things that cost one or less between either pool, so those are out. The rest of these don't seem that exciting either. It seems more exciting just to go with some slogisms and some nimbleisms. Oh, do we just try to force the guardian or do we try the brute? Next, how many attacks do we have? We basic intimidate. Barraging beatdown is a fantastic card. Just piece equipment. There's additional costs. Discard a card. Discard a card. Our one majestic is very good. And we don't actually have a lot of attack cards in this pool, so we would really have to supplement a lot of attack cards. A lot of these are action, and a lot of Awakening Bellows. This Savage Feast doesn't even uh, pitch for six. I don't know. Maybe we try it with the Guardian. We try it with the Guardian. What's left? Let's clear this stuff away. That gives us a headpiece, so we're rushing in without a lot of equipment here. Let's just sort out... Blues, blues, I'm going to try to start these a little lower. Some reds. I like this showtime. I like this art. I think that looks cool. Okay, two deliberate, two crush confidence, two emerging power. Oh, three deliberate. There's a blue one. Three crush confidence. There's a yellow one. Three emerging powers. Yellow and two blues there. We let's add in one of these scour the battlescapes. We can redraw. Let's add in our two potions. I think those would... I like the potions. They're interesting. Attack action card. It's plus five. Go again. So if I can handle casting the slogisms... They do some cool stuff. Maybe I don't want the red one because I want to be able to pitch for stuff. I think I want to lean really blue. We can have the yellow one. Maybe that's okay. Nimble Strike is an additional cost. Banish Nimbleism. You do it gains plus one and go again. And we've got three red Nimbleisms. If they cost zero to play... But they're looking for cost one cards, which we don't have any of. That's that still baffles me how we're gonna play this. So we can't use the because I didn't read them good enough. 
unmovable. So we have unmovable in each color. It's played from the arsenal blocks even better. That would be, again, really expensive to play. Do we want to block? We need cards at this point. So what do we have left to use? Raging Onslaught? We have to put cards in. There's a blue one. Sure. There's some Raging Onslaughts. Here's a Drone of Brutality. I guess if we absolutely run out of things, we've got Drones of Brutality. Demolition Crew is usable in this deck. We're certainly going to meet those requirements. Wounding Blow I just don't like as a card. We'll play Cracked Bobble over it. Well, what do we have left? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 this other drone brutality for 26 27 28 29 30 does that seem reasonable i don't know we've got our choice of headpieces I don't know, this feels like the pool I will have most messed up, for sure. Definitely. Maybe it's just a really hard pool. I'm going to zoom in on it. It'll be red. all the cards in the pool. Oops. There's a lot of blues. So I think I'm going to need a lot of pitching. Yeah, I don't know. This one definitely confuses me more than the last one. Maybe some of these will just be pretty challenging. You just don't get an amazing pool that just builds itself. That, that happens from time to time in any sealed I've ever tried with card games. So yeah, uh, let me know. Would you have gone Guardian with this pool, or would you have done something and said, hey, there may only be 12 ninja cards, but we're going ninja? Do you just always play your favorite because of familiarity, or do you go with what the cards tell you to play? What? There we go. That's our that's our fourth little sealed deck. Maybe I'll go try to play them against each other and start learning more about these heroes.